Hi, I'm Matt Russell from Plano, Texas. Things have been pretty tough around here lately. We've had droughts, water restrictions the last couple of years. Uh, a long, cool spring with some pretty crazy Texas weather coming in. Uh, just north of us here in Oklahoma, people have been having terrible problems with the tornadoes. Our heart goes out to them. Um, Henry Thoreau once said, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. So what do you see when you look over here at this contraption I've got by the shed here? It's a collection of pipes, wires, barrels, called an aquaponics system. In this system, fish live in the water. They give off waste, which is cycled through these grow beds, where bacteria breaks it down into nitrogen to be used by the plants thereby filtering the water to be returned to the fish in the tanks. Uh, the grow beds here are made out of <clears throat> food safe plastic uh, food barrels filled with river pebbles growing herbs and I've sown some leafy plants into, into these beds as well. I think this one here has got kale in it. We also have cabbage, bok choy, broccoli, uh, a couple of other things planted in here and they're starting to come up. The water from the fish tanks comes out from through a pump and is released by these valves into the beds sequentially. And the drains you can see down here are continuous drain, very simple openings in the bottom of the beds, and we have emergency overflows as well. And this all comes from and goes back into the shed over here where I have uh, two 55 gallon drums with fish. Only one of them has fish in it right now. I've got eight mud cats in here, baby catfish. Um, we've got a sump where the water is draining back in from the grow bed here. This is the outlet where the water pumps out. So you can see the water comes in through this sump goes into this fish tank, comes out of this fish tank, into this one, comes out of this fish tank and circulates back around to the sump where it hits the pump and goes back outside. It's going in a big circle continuously. Over here, we have an Arduino Uno with a temperature sensor and a water level sensor that I haven't got hooked up right now. And we have a set of relays that controls the valves on the door. So that's what we're looking at when we look over here at this aquaponics system. But that's not all you can see here. This is a technology that's going to dominate some forms of agriculture in the future. It's an organic natural solution to challenges for resources, water, and food worldwide. It's an organic, chemical-free approach. It doesn't need any artificial fertilizer doesn't need any GMOs, it's greatly reduced water requirements, doesn't need any soil, produces food locally. You can set one of these up in a city or a village and be very close to your food source with it. And it's commercially scalable. So it's a, it's a great solution in terms of the technology. But beyond that, there is an aesthetic to this approach. It can be turned into an art form all its own. Looking at it from that perspective, I see things like spiral staircases and waterfalls turning to face the sun, water circulating through rows of plants on pipes, on rooftops, walls, fences, and around foundations. Even a huge lotus-shaped system that closes at night when it's cold and opens when the sun comes out. Large tanks of water with fish in it inside our homes and offices. Feeding plants planted indoors and outdoors in surrounding areas. Combined with wind and solar energy used to pump water into storage tanks where it can be released when the sun's down or the wind is not blowing generate electricity. Beyond that, terraced hillsides planted with plants and many waterfalls.
coming down the side of the terraces to ponds at the bottom where the water, where the fish stay and the water is pumped back up to the top to continue the cycle. Um, permanent aquaponic landscapes on vast scales in the permaculture style. Self-sustaining villages. Uh, and an eventual transition from artificial solutions to more natural ones. These are just examples of future possibilities. Uh, some have become reality in some ways, in some places, but it's not being done on a big scale yet. It will be. And I'd like to be part of that. I'd like to develop and demonstrate the enabling technologies for this aquaponics in home and commercial operations. Incorporating the aesthetics, the art form that's possible with these kind of systems. Moving from these type of artificial systems to more natural ones. Simplistic, beautiful features that can help our cities and countrysides to be self-sustaining. I want to be a creator and a consultant in this movement. And I want to contribute to the open source, creative commons, the maker movement, open source ecology, and collaborate with them in these efforts. But there is also a commercial aspect to this. This is a way to grow a lot of food close to where people really need it, where they eat it, close to the restaurants where people eat. Uh, so they say the longest journey begins with a single step. That's true in this case. For phase one, I have a prototype system, but it's pretty rough. It needs some work. I need to get my electric wiring underground. I need to get wireless connected to my Arduino so that I can use the internet to control my Arduino system out here and monitor the, the uh, sensors. And I need redundancy in the system. I need UPS backup. I need a, a redundant pump in case the pump fails to make sure that the water continues to circulate for the fish for aeration. Uh, spares and sensors. I need a hoop house over my beds. And the hoop house needs to be one retractable where you can use either a, a netted shade cover or a clear vinyl one so that I can grow in the winter or keep the sun off of it in the summer when I'm growing cool weather vegetables like what I've got in here now. So these are the kind of things I need and it's going to take a couple of thousand dollars to really get this into shape where I can bring people over, demonstrate it, or you know photograph it, test out the technology and have it all solidified and go and get the interest I need for phase two, which will be a commercial version of this system that is scalable, located somewhere in the area. So $2,000 is what I'm looking for. Please help me on this journey. I appreciate your time. Thank you all.